Imagine trying to stuff a giant suitcase into a tiny locker. Something's got to give. In computers, overflow attacks work the same way. Hackers send more data than a program expects, causing it to spill into areas it shouldn't touch. Buffer overflow is like pouring water into a too small cup. Everything spills out. When a program receives more data than its buffer can hold, it overflows into neighboring memory areas. Hackers exploit this by hiding malicious commands in that overflow data. Modern languages like Python have built-in safety checks. They'll stop you with an error message before anything dangerous happens. But older languages like C trust programmers to be perfect. They'll write data wherever you tell them to, even if that corrupts other programs. This silent corruption is exactly what hackers exploit. That tiny overflow, it's how hackers take control of entire systems. Python catches the problem. See, let's the chaos through. Numbers can overflow too. Integer overflow happens when a number gets too big for its storage space and wraps around. Just like your car's odometer resetting. Python automatically handles big numbers. They just keep growing. But C uses fixed size number containers. Hit the limit and it wraps to negative numbers. No warning, no error. This silent glitch has broken security checks and crash systems. All because one number got too big. Even function calls can pile up dangerously. Stack overflow happens when functions keep calling each other endlessly, like stacking plates until they topple over. Every time a function runs, it takes up space on the call stack. Usually functions finish and clean up after themselves. Python says stop. Too many function calls and throws a safety error. But languages without this protection just keep stacking until the system crashes. Or worse, until hackers find a way to exploit the chaos. Heap overflow attacks target the memory space where programs store data dynamically. Think of it as the workspace where programs keep their temporary files. When a program writes past the end of its allocated workspace, it can corrupt neighboring data, sometimes crashing the program, other times giving attackers a way to inject malicious code. Safe languages build walls to contain these spills. Unsafe languages let the corruption spread silently. How, how we stop these attacks? Always check if your data fits before storing it. Like measuring ingredients before adding them to a recipe. Use Python, Java, or Rust. These languages have built-in safety features that catch overflow attempts automatically. Keep data separate from executable code. It's like having separate lanes for different types of traffic. Randomize where things are stored in memory. If attackers can't predict memory locations, their overflow attacks fail. All overflow attacks exploit the same basic flaw, programs that don't check if incoming data will fit safely. It's like not looking before you leap. Dangerous and totally preventable with the right precautions. The key is building software that expects the unexpected and fails safely when things go wrong. Hit that like button if this saved you from a coding disaster. Subscribe for more cybersecurity breakdowns and drop a comment with your worst overflow story.